morning class full. Welcome back to the online class. So, from today onwards, we are going to take chapter 6. The topic is the climate in India. We are going to learn about climate and the weather of our country, India. First, let us see weather. Okay, what is weather? So, we will come to know by learning weather first. Weather. Weather is the condition of the atmosphere of a place at a particular time. The weather of a place can change rapidly. Weather means it can change quickly, rapidly and nobody can predict weather. It may be bright and sunny with the clear sky in the morning while in the evening the sun, the, the sky may be covered with dark clouds. It may start raining in the morning, but the, but the afternoon may be bright and sunny. The weather of a place, particular place, depends on the, on the temperature, the moisture in the air, the pressure of air, then the movement of the air and wind. So see now, temperature. Temperature is the extent of hotness and coldness of a place. The earth gets heated by the sun. As the sun light reaches the earth, land and the seas heat up and warm the atmosphere. This warming up of the atmosphere raises the temperature. So, the physical features of a region influences its climate. So, temperature and rainfall are two important elements that affect climate. In India, in our country India, temperature and rainfall vary from season to season and from place to place. The meaning is, vary means different. Okay, it differs due to the temperature of our country, India. Some places are hot, while others are cold. Some places get heavy rainfall, while others do not get any rainfall for years. Some places experience floods, while others are hit by droughts. So some places, see, due to heavy rainfall, people experience flood, okay? Even in hilly region landslide, and some places they don't get rainfall at all throughout the year, so they have to experience droughts, okay, dryness. So see now climate. Climate. Climate is the weather condition of an area over a long period of time. That means it covers throughout the year. Okay, condition of a area taken over a long period of time. So climate of a place depends on it on its average monthly or yearly yearly or monthly temperature. So average amount of rainfall or snowfall. Climate influences the type of food people grow and eat. The type of climates, the type of clothes they wear, people wear according to the climate. And the type of homes they live in. Next, the types of plants that grow and animals that can live in the region that comes under climate. So see, now, factors affecting climate. There are so many factors that affect the climate, that influence the climate of our country, India. So now, number one factors, factor is how far away it is from the equator. Okay, measurement from the equator, how far it is our in country. Okay, and number two, how high it is from the sea level. And number three, how far it is from the sea. Number four, direction of winds. And number five, direction of mountains. 
So factors, okay? There are certain factors that affect the climate of a place. Okay, in in our country, all over country, they are there. There are so many places, so they have got different types of factors. Number one, see how far away it is from the equator. Okay, at the equator, the sun rays are direct and vertical. So equator is an equator is an imaginary line around the middle of a planet or other celestial body. So it is halfway between the North Pole and the South Pole at zero degrees, zero degree latitude. Okay, equator. So there is some uh, rays are direct, direct and vertical. So areas near the equator will receive intense and direct heat. So the equator region place is very, very extreme heat, hot. So towards the poles, rays are slanting and spread over a large area. So an equator divides the planet into a northern hemisphere and a southern southern hemisphere. That is why area near the poles are very very cold whereas the area near the equator is very very extreme heat. Number two, how high it is from the sea level? Okay, now sea level. Comparing to sea level, how high it is. Now we are going to learn about sea level and the heights. The higher we go, the cooler we feel. Okay, whenever you go to Siliguri and as you uh, cross um, coronation bridge, whenever you come higher and higher, okay, movement, so you will really feel cold. Okay, in, the, in Siliguri you will feel Hot. So the see the difference. So height of a place is measured from sea level. So height means we feel really cold. People go to a high hill station in summers because they are cool even in summer. Even in summer, in our place in Sikkim, like Darjeeling, hilly region, okay, uh, we have we experience very Pleasant weather, pleasant climate, cool climate. So the temperature decreases when increase in height. Okay, height. When whenever we go higher and higher, temperature decrease. That's why we feel cold. That's why summer season, people from plain area, people from hottest area, they come to experience hilly region in order to experience the cool climate. So compare the temperature of Chennai and Uti. Chennai, okay, very, very hottest place in southern part of India. Chennai, old name is Madras and Uti. Uti is the hilly region area. Uti is cool because of its height. So, see, so see the difference, okay. Uti is very, very mm, cool place whereas Chennai is very, very hot place because of the sea level. That's why Mount Abu in Rajasthan is also cool in summers. Okay, Rajasthan has the, there is one mountain named Abu. That mountain also is very, very cool during summer. That's why people go there and experience the coolness during summer. So have you heard of Kilimanjaro? So Kilimanjaro is a new name for all of us. So see now, Kilimanjaro is the Mountains, okay, mountains, it is located in Africa near the equator. So it is located in Africa and it is located near the equator. So Kilimanjaro, let us see now, it's a mountain, uh, is, is dormant volcano in Tanzania. It has three volcanic cones, Kibu, Maez, Maenze, and Shira, it is the highest place, highest mountain in Africa and the highest single tree standing mountain in the world. See, in the world it is very very tallest, very very highest mountain that is Kilimanjaro. It is located in Africa. The height is 5895 meter above the sea level and about 4000 900 meters 
above its plateau area. Plateau is a low land, land area. That's why it is very famous. And these mountains, it is located in Africa, but still the peak remains snow covered, okay, due to heights. It is because of the height. Number three, how far it is from the sea? Now see, we are learning about our own country now. The land heats up faster than water. So land heats up faster than water, okay. Whenever sun rises, you can, you, after some time you touch the land, it heats faster. It gets hot uh, uh, faster and uh, you, you keep water also, bucket of water and you touch that water. Water takes long time to heat. That's why that is the difference. So the land heats up faster and the water uh, takes long time. The land cools down faster than the sea. Similar, the same thing, the land cools down faster and the sea don't. So the sea is ne neither hot, too hot, not too cold. So the climate over the sea is moderate, okay? Not so very, very hot, extreme heat, not so cold. That's why it is the um, moderate climate, pleasant climate. So the places located near the sea are affected by this phenomena. So the climate of Mumbai, we are going to learn about our own country, Mumbai, Mumbai, okay? Mumbai climate, Mumbai has what type of climate? Moderate climate. Whereas Delhi, it is quite a hilly region. So Delhi has got very extreme climatic region. Okay, Delhi is the place they have got very very extreme climate. During summer, it is very very cold, extreme heat. People they have to bear. And whereas even in winter, same thing. In winter also, extreme cold. People have to. People have, they have to experience. So such climate is called extreme climate. For example, Delhi. Delhi, okay? Uh, uh, our capital, no? India's capital is Delhi. So capital uh, place has got very extreme heat during summer and very extreme cold during winter. Number four, direction of winds. Winds, okay? Air. Okay, we experience wind. So, certain time we experience winds, so direction of winds also affect the climate, okay? Winds also affects the, influence the climate. Winds coming from sea brings rain. If the wind blows from sea level, uh, certainly we get rain. India gets rain in summer from the southwest wind. That is called monsoon. Monsoon wind, okay. Monsoon wind, we get uh, rain coming from the sea, okay. Wind is coming from the sea and the sea causes, that wind causes rain. So winds coming from land are very dry and do not cause rain, only we get a little hot, okay. Humid climate we experience. So winters in India are particularly dry except for the north and the southern coastal plains, okay. In winter, in India, most of the region, they experience very dry, okay, cold but dry due to, uh, like, uh, due to the highest places. But in eastern coastal plains, really people, they get uh, a little uh, moisture uh, region area due to the coastal plains, due to the water, okay, water level area. So number five, direction of mountains. Mountains, okay, mountains. We have so many mountains. We are surrounded by mountains. Even Sikkim has, Sikkim is surrounded by mountain. You can see Darjeeling Hill surrounded by mountains. So, in the direction of the mountain is opposite to the direction of the wind. It helps in causing rains, okay. Mountains also bring rain because we have got plenty of trees, plenty trees. So, from trees, we get rains. For example, Western Ghats. Western Ghats, I think we have learned this uh, from Western Ghats, mountainous region. Uh, they bring rain, okay? Wind blows from the mountainous region and the people, they, get, they receive rain. So this is, the, uh, this is the topic we are learning. So it is quite a vast topic. So in, in next class, 
we are going to learn seasons of India. What type of seasons we experience in India, in our country, we are going to learn in our next class. Okay, children? Okay, thank you.